okay so what are the things i need i need a sawtooth wave right sawtooth generator okay so which i took sawtooth generator so then what we need then i need a one constant flow which i need i am taking here and i need a some block here i am taking addition okay so which i connected here and then you can connect like this then here the duty duty is equal so here i am taking a gain block okay so take gain block which i am taking 0.5 okay so now here then which we are taking we should take a one relational operator one relational operator which we to take double click on it apply okay so now this is the duty ratio okay so this is the duty ratio now here i am taking at the how much i should i mean the concept we from this we are generating the duty so here the expected one here i am giving as a 0.4 0.4 which i am giving okay so now we can see the take a score let's see here the and then double click on it here the carrier wave also how it will be we will see So this is the carrier wave signal okay or uh, sort of wave you can call it. carrier wave signal okay this is the pwm pulse so here i'm giving pulse signal so now we can uh, run the simulation see here All and not a lot because it is a subsystem block diagram. Okay, then so so we want to we are not we are not supposed to take the subsystem blocks. So sorry for that. I'm just a, then I'm taking a new a blank sorry blank model which I'm taking. That for you like this. See here. Pulse with the generator without you can see here this is the pulse and the carrier signal. Okay, so now we can simply see here one is pulse. Now we can see here. This is the generation of the pulse width signal. So if you want to generate a pulse width signal, instead of this pulse generator, right? Here we are taking pulse generator, right? The similar kind pulses we can produce now. You can see here. Okay, see here. Switch turning on time is 0 0.1. Suppose the duty cycle here I am changing duty. So 0 0.6 I am giving. Okay. So then you can observe. See here. How 0 0.6 of the switch is turning on. And 40% of the switch is turning on. 
six of the switch is turning on 40 percentage of the switch this is the carrier wave carrier wave signal this one okay this is the carrier wave signal so the similar kind which we are giving now this is the pulse width, generation of pulse width modulation now this, this is the how we are generating the pulse if suppose if i need to make complicated complication of this pulse width modulation signal suppose here what is happening here 60 percentage of the switch is turning on then 40 percent turning off right so complication if i need to take relational operator we just take oh, sorry. logical operator we can take for uh, logical operator you can take go here and click on here take it as an order gate apply okay so keep here now here i am taking three i am keeping here Is the complicated signal complication of this pulse complication complicated pulse signal complicated You can see here now see when the top side is turning on one moment you can see here see here See, whenever here it is, a, this is as, as we are telling, it is a complicated, right? See here. See here. The switch is here. This is the complication, complicated pulse. And this is the generation of the PWM. This is how we should create a, we should, we should create a pulses generation of the pulses like this we should create so this same pulse only we are taking pulse generator block then we are giving so suppose if you want to give the switching frequency everything here what is the frequency you can mention if it is a 25 kilohertz switching frequency or whatever uh, as per uh, your requirement you can change the switching frequency here as well then that's fine okay so now after this we will start with the this is only the generation of the pulse width modulation signal okay we will start with the closed loop simulation with the buck and boost converter simulation we will start okay thank you